Hello, my name is Arlissa Hackis. I am a security architect and I'm here to talk a little bit more about my profession today. Um, the security architect position does fall under the NIST NICE framework. The category for this position is securely provisioned and the specialty is systems architecture. So what do we do as security architect professionals? Our primary responsibility as security architects is to help businesses protect their most vital assets, be computer systems or networks, from malicious intruders. So we want to create designs with security in mind to keep people that we did not authorize to be in our systems from entering or gaining access into our systems. Um, malicious intruders could be intentionally trying to gain access to either disrupt our competitive advantage, uh, tarnish our reputation as a company uh, for financial gain, um, whatever the intent is, if we did not explicitly authorize it, them as users, they should not be able to gain access. And as security architects, that is our responsibility is to design systems that provide that sort of protection for businesses. So we want to prevent malicious um, intruders from being able to gain access. And there's different ways that we can do this. Um, we're, it's going to require for us to have a very good understanding of the system that we're working with, but it also requires us to kind of uh, step into the shoes of the intruder and analyze the different paths that they might um, intend on taking and assess the strengths and weaknesses of those access points for us. So um, once we understand our strengths and weaknesses, we can go back to the design board to try to implement changes that are going to um, increase um, the strengths of our access points and improve the overall security posture of our system. Um, I really do recommend that for beginners um, interested in the cybersecurity field and the security architect path um, to, to start out with a really good understanding of networks and computing. So how computers work, how computers talk to each other, that's the network. So that'll give you a really good foundation uh, from, for any kind of cybersecurity position really. And I also recommend uh, getting involved with conferences and professional organizations because they're gonna provide really good resources as far as what you need to be um, looking at. So uh, keep in mind that some of, and actually this is some of the most enjoyable, for me at least, uh, piece of advice is that you know, embrace the lifelong learning journey because we are in a tech driven field and technology changes every day. So you have to understand what's changing from the technology in order to understand the security points of it and how to design for that. And you have to stay up to date. Conferences and professional organizations are once again, really good resources to stay up to date on this thing. Um, I guess overall, I commend you on the journey to try to um, learn more about cybersecurity and wish you the best of luck. Thank you.